Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm doing another styling video. Sorry about my voice. Um, I did actually miss vlogging this week. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it's quite nice to like share my life with you guys because I feel like you can come across as so one dimensional on Instagram and stuff. So it's quite nice to share like every aspect of my life, like me and Margot and um, my pregnancy, which is great. Um, my, what I wear in the day, just what we get up to kind of thing as a family. So I think I'm going to try and maintain vlogging, um, but I'm also meant to be taking it easy <laughs> with this pregnancy. So I'm going to try and maybe either alternate vlogging and styling videos and hauls and stuff, or try and do vlogging every week and then also do styling videos when I can. But I'm aware that I'm meant to be taking it easy, so we'll see how I get on with that. Um, but anyway, life story aside, today I'm styling the Birkenstocks, um, so these are super popular, I saw them and really wanted them last year because I feel like they've been around for a while, I just wasn't sure if it was something I would wear, I felt like they're quite cool, like too cool for me, like in a like, non-cool kind of way, I don't know, they're like, I'm very aware that someone who's cool doesn't use the word cool to <laughs> show my age using words like that um but yeah anyway i just thought they were really nice um and i loved how people were styling them but i just didn't know if i had i was like that i was cool enough to wear them do you know what i mean like they're quite hipstery i feel like i feel like they're a bit hipstery and and just a bit um like that kind of vibe so i didn't know if they would suit my style anyway Fast forward a year, seeing loads of people wearing them. Those people that I feel like I have similar style to as well. Um, and so yeah, I decided to get them, obviously, because they're here. I went for this lovely torpy kind of colour because I just thought, sorry about my pat but butcher voice. I put I feel like they're kind of just a classic neutral and they'll go with loads of things in my wardrobe. Though I have seen a really nice colour on Monique, I'll put a picture in. Nick Dale, um, and I, I'm so close to getting them in that colour, but I just feel like it's a bit excessive to be buying um, multiple colours of them, even though I do wear them, like, every day. Honestly, these are so comfortable. They are a bit big for me because size 8 is apparently size 42. Size 7 is size 40, and I'm a 41, so annoying. But I was told they come small, so I thought, well, I'm not going to get a size 40 then because they'll be too small. And I don't really care if they're too big for me because they're slip-ons. Um, so yeah, really comfy, wear them all the time, literally go with everything. I'm going to show you that by showing you my outfit. So I'm going to move to the side, as I always do, gather my belongings. Oh, what I meant to say as well is that these are sold out quite a lot of places. But they do come back in stock, but I feel like you have to be quick. So what I'm going to do is I found them in a few places where they've got like random sizes or... Um, are out of stock um, and I'll just link them so you can kind of use it as a reference point or favour them to just keep checking um, and then I'll also link some dupes that I found that are really good too because these are like £120 I think though the price varies in a few different places which I find strange but yeah they're like £120 so I found some really good ones the other day so let's get through these outfits. So outfit number one is a midi dress I'm actually wearing. Love this dress so much. I have done five ways to wear it. It's such a classic wardrobe staple, especially if you're pregnant like me. Stretchy, but also I feel like it's something I'll wear after I'm pregnant. So it's not like a waste of money. And I love it so much. I've got it in three colours now. Um, and I've just worn it with this um, top uh, jumper like chucked under really like this look um but i'm wearing it now with a shirt open um it looks really nice with a jumper over the top that's how i'm just wearing that anyway t-shirt like obviously you'll get the idea because you'll be able to see my five ways to wear but i love this so much i'm just looking at the pictures on my phone um and i think actually i hadn't expected myself to wear this i thought mainly jeans i would wear looks so nice with um, a dress with like little my ankle showing so I love this so the next one is classic denim white shirt trench coat literally can't go wrong I think I might have done five ways to wear the trench coat if I haven't I'm definitely going to do that soon um did I do five ways to wear a white shirt because that's on my list too if not gonna do that soon um and these are actually my favorite Levi jeans 
and I'm so shocked that they actually still fit. Um, like three buttons weren't done up. I feel like with an oversized shirt it's fine. Um, so I actually love this look so much and it made me so happy that my jeans still fit. I love these jeans so much and they look really good. Just with a little bit of ankle showing. I have worn them with wide leg jeans too. And um, they look quite cool too with just like the toe showing. Um, and the good thing about that too is you can wear thick socks. So I feel like wearing socks with them is quite like a trend even though I didn't show that in my video. Um, oh well, spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, you could wear this outfit with socks I think would look cool too. So in the next outfit is... <laughs> Literally, these are all groundbreaking, guys. Same as before, except for I've got an oversized sweatshirt on. I have to wear everything oversized a bit because otherwise you'd see that my jeans were undone. But I think this would look nice with like a t-shirt tucked in too. Just like really good, simple, casual look. That's how I'll be wearing it when I do fit my jeans again. Um, and then just back in stocks, just really casual, easy to throw on outfit. I love this one so much. I was like, I'm definitely saving this to wear in the future because I haven't worn this one yet. And this sweatshirt is so cosy, um, it's from Marquette, I'll link it below, I'll link everything below and add sizing information. And for the next outfit I've gone for leggings, I'm trying to show you as many different bottoms as possible. Um, these are my maternity leggings, obviously I wear with any leggings, I'll link my maternity leggings in non-maternity too, because they are amazing quality from Spanx. Um, they don't actually sell Spanx through the Spanx website in the UK, but you can get them through a few other sites, so I'll link them. Um, I've just got a cropped white tee on because I just feel like if you're going to have leggings on and you're pregnant and you're going to have everything out, just go the whole hog. And I actually quite like the cropped top look because I feel like it accentuates the bump and it's just quite a cute little look. Um, and also my feet are quite big, as I said, I'm not having to wear 42. Um, but I think that they look alright with leggings. So I was a bit worried to begin with, will I wear them with leggings, which is what I have to wear a lot when I'm pregnant. Um, then I, I say that like I'm pregnant all the time. Like when I'm pregnant, I always have to wear leggings. Um, it's, it's like when I'm when it's Wednesday. Like I just said that so casually. Then um, anyway, love it with the Birkenstocks. I didn't think it would work. I thought that it would make my legs look too narrow, and my feet look huge. But I love this. And then I've got that same sweatshirt on, straight over my shoulders for like a casual look. Um, and. I mean, casual is my vibe anyway, but especially when I'm pregnant. Like, I know I keep going when I'm being pregnant, but I would better wear this for, like, shopping, lunch, play date for Margot. I probably wouldn't wear it for dinner, but, yeah, you get the idea. I'd probably wear it in most places. Then, finally, last but not least, I feel like this is my favourite one of all time. Um, these trousers I've been living in. You probably saw them in my last vlog. If you didn't, I did quite a mini, mini quite a big haul of different things which are featured in this video. Um, these trousers are so comfortable, I've got them in two colours, I've got them in the large so they fit me um, and I love the way that they kind of cover most of the shoe but you just see the shoe coming out so it's quite cool, I feel like this would be how the cool people would be wearing it, the hipsters um, and then I've just got my Cezanne top on which you'll see it's just a really nice kind of knitted vest top it's got a nice scallop detail, it's just I really wanted to get some nice basics whilst I'm pregnant but for after pregnancy too so they're not maternity items that will kind of I'm having to wear vest tops a lot with like shirts and stuff to like mix up my wardrobe and blazers and I just felt like I wanted some that were comfy and looked nice and like added a bit to my outfit rather than just a completely plain one if you know what I mean um, and then I've got this blazer on which I got last week I think it was in my vlog I'm not sure I'm obsessed with it it's called the 80s blazer from Everlane I'll link it they do it in black and tan again but obviously I've got black and tan blazers I'm very attached to but I just love I'm looking over there because it's there I love the check I just think it's so cool they've got a Mac in the joint in the um check too which I think is really cool but I just felt like the blazer I would wear more and I've already worn it so much it looks so good I sized up a few sizes too obviously because I'm pregnant and also because I love things to be super oversized even though it is an oversized style anyway but yeah, I'll write what size I got because it's American sizes, so it can be confusing. Though, I think their UK shipping is pretty good. And then, yeah, I just felt like this looks so nice with the cream. I've got an all cream outfit. And then that, and then I feel like it's quite a smart outfit. And the Birkenstocks just, like, casual it down a bit and make it look very, like, I don't know. I feel like my vibe at the moment is just, like, grandma who's retired to Santa Monica and sits by the beach. I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm talking about, but I just feel like that's like grandma chic, like your rich auntie or your rich grandma <laughs> kind of look. I feel like I've raced through those and it is because I'm like, I don't want the light to go and my battery is flashing. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favourite look is. I feel like mine is look number five or the Levi with the striped sweatshirt actually. It's such a simple look, but I feel like that's what Birkenstocks are for, like really casual simple outfits um but anyway thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already comment with your favorite outfit comment and let me know if you want me to do vlogs and if you want me if there's anything else you want me to do five ways to wear um and i'll see you guys next time